to wait. Oh, it's no problem. No one came with you? No, no, no. I'm uh, here by myself. Okay. So, you work in Macy's? Yeah, I'm an associate buyer. <laughs> My wife would love your job. Uh, if the news is bad, you can um, just uh, tell me. It's AML. Acute myelogenous leukemia. I'm sorry. I know this comes as a shock, but we have to move quickly. This type of cancer is aggressive, but we can't effectively treat it. Our oncologist here, Dr. Treadway, is one of the best in the country. She can fit you in on Thursday morning. I'll send over your results, but I'm sure she'll want to run some tests of her own. I know this is a lot to take in. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm telling you here? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to call someone for you? Ah, uh, no, I'll call them, thanks. Hi, Mom, it's me. Hey, hi. How are you? Um, you know, busy. Uh... Listen, I was thinking of coming home tonight. Great, really great, great, great. Yeah, well, I have all those, uh, those vacation days, you know, and um, just kind of wanted to use them up. So would that be OK? Of course it's OK. We'll wait up. No, no, don't worry about it. It'll be a, a late start, so I'll probably not get in until the morning. Drive safely, okay? We'll see you then. Okay, bye. Hey! Hi! Where are you? I'm out here. Hey, you. Guess who that was? Who? Oh. Sarah. Really? Yeah. Who is she? She's coming home tonight. Tonight? Mm -hmm. Why? Does she need a reason? No, but you know what I mean. I mean... Sarah doesn't come home out of the blue. Remember the last time she was home for Christmas? She works retail. That's her busiest time. Oh, no, it just doesn't sound like her. I'm going to have a shower and change the sheets on her bed. And, oh, 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 oh. Get that exercise bike out of her room. Yes, I will. Okay, great.
whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, sorry. Sarah. Evan. Hi. Hi. Uh, I was, uh, wasn't sure that... You weren't sure about what? That, that I'd still be in Staunton? Well, y yeah. No, I just, um... I heard what happened to your father. Um, how's he, how's, how's he doing? Uh, he's, he's better. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, his, um... You know, he's still using the, the walker, but his left side is gaining mobility, so... And his, his speech therapy went all too well. <laughs> Can't keep Bray quiet, huh? No, no. <clears throat> I should probably, uh... So I heard you're a big shot investment banker now in Houston, right? Dallas. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm a real big shot. <laughs> no, I'm just kind of playing it by ear. I heard you were uh, going to medical school? Yeah, I didn't uh, get a spot, so I'm just still shopping for a living. Well, you look great. Uh, 25 even. You know, I was actually um, in your neck of the woods last month for the Cubs home opener. And, uh, I thought about giving you a call because I had uh, an extra ticket, but I, oh. I, yeah. Well, I just, you know, I, I figured you were probably uh, seeing somebody. No, no, I, uh, are you? Uh, no, I mean, you know, there were some possibilities back in Texas, but uh, I've been here four months now, so I'd probably burn those bridges. Well, you never know. So I noticed the uh, the big scrape on your car. If you're gonna be here for a few days, I could uh, fix that for you. Yeah, I just did that. Parking garage incident? You know, it's really weird, actually. Someone just moved the guardrail to the middle of the road. The nerve of some people. <laughs> it's good to see you. It's good to see you. We're going to Alton today. Yeah, Brad took me off about a wonderful estate sale. I hear there's some beautiful pieces. Mm -hmm. Hey, did you like that thing I made with chicken and mushrooms? Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you asked me to remind you about the roses. Thank you. Yes, I do still have time.
Would you be upset? But who, Hello. We should know. Hi, honey. Hi, Sarah. Hey. Hey, Hi. We just got a call that you you might not have wanted us to intercept. We know why you came home. I, I can explain it. It was Amy, and she tried. She didn't know if you were going to be checking the messages on your machine, and she tried you on your cell, but she couldn't reach you. We're so proud of you. Proud? Oh, sweetheart. It was admissions from Northwestern Met. You got I in. I got in. You got in. You got you in. Did it. <laughs> you, did it. <laughs> you got in, kiddo. <laughs> you got in. Yes. Mm, and you thought it would be a waste of time to reapply. <laughs> All right, Northwestern. <laughs> yes. Yes. Congratulations, the very one. doctor. <laughs> come on, come on, sit down. Come on, come on. Come on. Uh, Chuck called, canceled our meeting for tonight, so maybe we can go to a movie after dinner. All right? The Russell girl is home. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. John. Rick, John's driving. Dad, I have my permit. How am I supposed to learn if I never drive? It's a nice try, but let your brother do it. I'll take you out to Reservoir Road tomorrow night, and we'll do some practice runs. Let's see what John's game. John has a game? Sectionals, Mom. Sectionals, Mom. You OK? Yeah, I'll meet you after school. OK. Yeah, I've got to go. Bye.
sorry. Well, there you are. I lost track of the time. That's all right. How's he doing? Hi, Mom. He's not bad. Okay, you want something to drink? Mm -mm. I think I'm getting a migraine. Rain. Tell John I'm sorry. Go, John! You can do it! Out of the park, John! Yeah, that's it! That's it! Yeah. Go, 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 go! Sweetheart, yeah. How's Macy's? Do you still have to go to San Diego for the accessories expo? Uh, no, I think Brenda's actually gonna go for me, so, um... <laughs> Mom, do you believe in karma? Good things happen to good people. Daddy and I are so excited for you. No, I wasn't talking about medical school. I'm... Is it about a guy? Hey, whatever happened to that young fellow? He used to work for the Art Institute. Oh, well, we uh, went to coffee that one time, but that was over a year ago. So. Look at you. You are so beautiful. But who cuts that hair, honey? Come on. I bet you pay good money for that. 20, 25? More? Mama, it's not about my hair. Tuition? You worried about tuition? Don't do that. Daddy and I have already discussed it. We're prepared to help. I just think this might be a little too much for me right now, you know, to take on. Oh, come on, no. This is the only thing you've wanted to take on since graduation. I just think you're nervous is all. It must be weird. You know, first you resigned yourself to not going, and now you are going, and so it just must be weird, huh? Stop worrying. Is that her car? Yeah, I think so. Come and eat.
Daniel, hey. You're home. <laughs> How are you? Oh, it's good to see you. You too. What are you doing here? Uh, well, I was checking the mail, and I was just looking across the street. Um, I hadn't noticed the, the roses before. They're, they're really nice. <laughs> OK. Um, do you ever talk to them much? Uh, Mom does. She tries to anyways. I mean, you know Mom. She takes over a couple fresh tomatoes from the garden. I think she's fixed the world. All right. What about you? Oh, no, I'm probably the last person that they want to talk to. Hey, perfect timing. You can help me unload. Hi. Hey, uh, how'd you know Daniel was home? Uh, maybe I'm here for you. Oh. The uh, estimate on your car. Oh, duh, yes. Um, I'm going to take the mail in. I'll come back. How's it going? Good. How'd your finals go? Uh, you know, they're over, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Need help with this? Yeah, grab that bag. <sighs> so what's uh, Sarah doing home? I don't know. Don't have to guess what you're here, though. <laughs> uh, me and Sarah, the ship has sailed. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, well, I can fix it for about 100 bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's just for the, the parts, the paint. I mean, I wouldn't charge you for the labor. You know, Evan, it's very sweet of you, <clears throat> but it's not very smart business. Well, you forget where you are. Customer relations are what matter. Really? What uh, kind of relations? Have a beer at the Salty Dog with me. Come on. It's been five years. I don't drink beer. Good. Even better. I love a cheap date. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. All right, good. I'll pick you up at 8 o'clock. Hi, this is uh, Sarah Russell. Um, I was referred by uh, Dr. Gordon, and I was actually, um, uh, I'm not going to be able to make my appointment tomorrow with uh, Dr. Treadway, so I was hoping to um, uh, call back and reschedule it when I can. Uh, thank you. Bye. Who was that? Work. Did you tell anyone? Nope, I haven't told anyone yet. Sarah, don't you think you should warn them that you're leaving? Yeah, I'll do it at the end of the summer. Honey, getting in is a big step, but there's still plenty to do. Yeah, I know. So, Larry asked if we wanted to go to a movie with him and Sue tonight. Oh, I don't think so. I'm exhausted. Did you play tennis today? No, I worked all afternoon. Did you get out at all? I get lost in my work, Howard. Hi. I'm home for a few days if maybe you wanted to talk. Talk? Yeah. We're getting ready for dinner. Well, I could come back another time. Why would you want to do that?
Wait a minute. What? Is that all you're taking? Yes. Well, at least you have a little pasta. No. I'm okay. That's why you're so skinny. Oh. I'm not skinny. I look like every other girl in Chicago. What? Malnourished and anemic? Eat. So, Sarah, are you uh, going out with Evan tonight? Mmm. Are you? Evan from high school? Such a jerk. I cannot believe you, Daniel. You abandoned her because she's so skinny. You didn't abandon me, okay? We broke Let's up. Let's get the story straight. She dumped Evan. Okay. Mm. Oh, speak of the devil. Hey. Hi. Hey, Evan. Hi, Evan. Wow, how's your dad? Uh, he's better. He's better. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Good. Oh, okay. Oh, Bye. see ya. All right, that's it. I'm putting your name down. No! Come on, I no. want to see you tap into your inner Celine Dion. No! That's not gonna happen. Besides, everyone's already staring as it is. Well, we're a good-looking couple. Oh, so we're a couple now, are we? Careful, I'll sing Sarah by Jefferson Airplane. Oh, parent rock? Nice. All right, we're gonna take a break and we'll be right back with our next singer. So, um, now that your dad's doing better, are you gonna go back? Well, I just, um, I want to make sure he's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, long term. Um, I'm not about to let him lose the business. And what about your job in Dallas? Well, I'm still in the analyst in training, so they give me some leeway. You know, I do the work I can by email. Mm -hmm. But if it doesn't pan out, then... It's not like a really good opportunity. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, there's always opportunities. You know, we're young. Mom's gone. I don't want to leave my dad on his own. Is that why you stay in Chicago? Opportunities? You know why you were there. I want it to be. I knew we couldn't just have a good time. brought me out here to dredge up ancient history and make me feel bad, then I'm not in the mood. You've never needed my help to feel bad. Sarah, why didn't... Why didn't you just talk to me after it happened? I wanted to, okay? But every time someone would look at me or tell me that it was okay, it wasn't. It only made things worse. Ran away. Just take me home. About the car. Do you remember when you were a sophomore and we took Miss Strong's drama class together? 
You were the only reason that I took that dumb class. And no matter who I date, or how far I try to move away, I still think about you. rooming with Amy or are you gonna get a place closer to campus? Um, I don't know yet, Mom. Hey, um, are you, are you still gonna ask Miss Morrissey to refinish Grandma's old rocker? You know, honey, I asked her about that at church that one day and she said mm -hmm. that she was really Pretty busy. It <laughs> doesn't matter anyway because I sold that rocker as is at a yard sale. You didn't want it, did you? No, no, I, um. And I should actually get going. You know, Sarah, I could come to the city for a few days and we could look for a place if you like. No, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm taking care of things. Oh. I think med school is the best thing in the world for her right now. The challenge will really do her good. She's ready. She's putting the past behind her. It's about time, too. I hope. She's stronger than you think, Phil. You've been saying that for six years. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. No. I'm, no. I'm just saying if we've realized and gotten her some help back then, maybe we wouldn't have a stranger for a daughter today. Here we go again. You're going to blame this all on me? Because I didn't want to send her to a shrink and medicate her problems away because I thought we could deal with this on our own. I was so naive. It's not too late, you know. We could all go talk to someone. Now? Yes. Let it go. Okay. Hi. Uh, it's me again. Uh, can I come in for a minute? Wow. You've got a really nice studio. It's very homey. It is my home. This is beautiful. The box. Is that why you're here? You want something restored? Maybe. Not really sure what. Maybe something like this box or... Maybe go to Malloy's with me or something to pick something out. Malloy's? Yeah, I don't think so. But I'll keep a lookout for you if you want. Okay, thanks. Was there something else? Uh. Uh. 
Sorry to bother you. You guys get your own lunches today. Mother's not feeling very well. Big surprise. Hey, pay yourself. leaving, all right? Um, call me if you need me.
All right, what's so funny, Dan? It says here they did a survey of a hundred attractive young women in Los Angeles, Denver, and Chicago, asking them what profession their ideal man would have to be. Guess what they said? I don't know, doctor. Uh-uh. Lawyer. <laughs> All right, I give up. Body shop mechanic. Body shop mechanic. I suspect Body Works over here is a little biased. It says they figured they'd be in enough fender benders throughout their life, and it must be worth it. Oh, looky here. It's Sarah. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. It's been a long time. Cinnamon roll? Oh, no, I'm good. I'm um, good, thanks. Oh, sweet enough already, huh? What can we do for you, kiddo? Um, <clears throat> actually, Evan is gonna fix the scrape that's on the side of my car. <clears throat> yeah, all right. Um, let me just give you a ride home. Yeah. Yeah. Plant some new ones on the weekend, okay? I just want them gone! I'm gonna go home now, Lorraine. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, friend. Lorraine. <sighs> Look, I know it, it's hard. I know. <sighs> Let's just go inside, all right? going Mayberry on me. <laughs> what? Too sophisticated for fishing now? Uh, <laughs> no, I just, um, I didn't want to have to show you up. Really? Catch you. People get what they deserve in life. Uh, I don't know. 
to you. Ever since Jennifer died, it's like I've been waiting for the other shoe to drop. What do you mean? No punishment, you know? Cosmic justice or something. Uh, I don't think the world works that way. Especially when there's no one to blame. So why torture yourself with that kind of guilt? Maybe I'd feel better if someone would just yell at me, you know? Tell me I'm a bad person. Is that all it would take? Because I'd be happy to do that for you. You're already doing a pretty good job of that yourself. Yeah, no, I got overwhelmed today with the Look, ever, ever since Sarah came home, you've been slipping back. <laughs> you can let go. Speak with your daughter. Phil? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go get her. Sarah, honey? So, how's the family? Uh, family's fine. Thanks, Gil. How's yours? Uh, very well, thank you. Very well. Someone's here to see you. Sarah? Hi. Can I have a word with you? Howard, if there's a problem. No, Dad, it's, fi uh, it's fine. Um, Mom, please. You've been talking to my wife. Um, I asked her to help me find a box. Thought maybe she could, um, refinish it or something. Did you think that was wise? I didn't... I didn't mean to cause any harm. That's not what I... Well, unfortunately, you are uh, causing harm. I mean, you just bring up, um... A lot of memories we've been working very hard to put to rest. I'm sorry. Look, I'm very glad that you've uh, you've put it all behind you. But for Lorraine, I mean, just seeing you makes it worse. So I'm going to ask you to stay away from her while you're home, OK? OK, but you know, we do live across the street, so. Well, just let her.
was that all about? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Okay. I like the way you guys redid the decks. It's good. <laughs> you, you're you're almost as bad as your mom when it comes to changing the subject. <sighs> Look, Dad, I just don't want to talk about it, okay? Sarah, Howard Morrissey hasn't crossed that street in years. I don't understand why you can't just be happy that I'm here, like Mom. I am happy that you're home. It just, what do you expect me to act as if this is all normal? Pretend that you're just hanging out here? No questions asked? Okay, listen. I asked Mrs. Morrissey if she would be interested in helping me find an antique box at Malloy's. Mr. Morrissey thinks it's a bad idea. Besides, it doesn't even matter because she's not interested. Okay. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You seeing a therapist in Chicago? Dad, I well, You promised me you'd talk to someone if it all got to be too much. I think you should just leave it alone. Can you write me a check for my cap and gown rental? Certainly, it would be a pleasure. It was, um, 16? Yep. Yeah. Are Grandma and Grandpa Shea coming? Of course. They wouldn't miss it for the world. Are you coming? Or are you planning a migraine already? John. Uh, John, come on, we're late. Probably just a summer bug. But I could uh, give Dr. Marie a call, see if he could fit you in today. Um, okay, I'm okay. Or I could stay home. Play hooky. Stay in bed and play Scrabble like we used to when you were sick. No, I'll be okay by myself. You sure? Mm -hmm. Daddy seems to think something's going on with you. Life is about to change big time, and you just need a little time to adjust. Yeah, that's probably about right. I'm glad you're home. Gotta go, honey. Okay, sweetie. Drink lots of water, yeah? And I'll call you later. Mm -hmm. Mom. Have a good day at work. Thank you, sweetheart.
Yeah, I'm fine. Just a little lightheaded. That's all. Whoa. Maybe no. you should get out of the street. You don't seem all right. No, I'm really, I'm fine. Fine. Are you here alone? Is your mother here? No. No, she's at work. Well, maybe we should call her so she can come in. No, no. She'll just get upset. This is so stupid. If I eat, maybe some water? No, no. I, I just think that I need to eat something, maybe. Do you have any advice? I really don't know where to start. I'm not your friend, Sarah. We're not gonna hang now. If you find something, maybe I'll look at it. Take care. about the, um, the, the box in the front of the window, the rectangular one. Oh, yeah, that's a real nice piece. Made in the 20s. You're Phil Russell's girl, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Mm, I thought so. So, uh, about the box? Is now a good time? Let's see what you got. <sighs> it's in pretty bad shape. <laughs> yeah, it is. So you think you can restore it then? I'll get back to you. Hmm. Well, uh, thanks for, um, for saying that you'll try to fix this. Don't make it into something it's not. Okay. What happened to you today? In the street? I forgot to eat. Bye. <laughs>
Hey. You've got paint on your nose. Mm. How's that? Not so good. <laughs> That's better. It's nice. Who's it for? Sarah Russell. You know, it's the first time I think I've heard you call her Sarah in the last six years. Well, it's her name. I thought you didn't want anything to do with her. I didn't say that. No, you didn't. It's 10.30. <laughs> My great, great, great grandmother started that in 1845. Three generations of Shea women worked on that. It actually won a blue ribbon at the World's Fair in 1904. Wow, it's even hand stitched. I never have the patience. <laughs> it was northern Wisconsin in the winter. There wasn't a lot else to do. I was stuck with my mother the whole winter in a house. I think I'd probably freak out. <laughs> started showing up, I thought maybe you were coming to apologize. I thought maybe if she apologizes, everything will be okay. <laughs> but you didn't, and it's just making it worse. I wanted to apologize. I, I, I'm sorry. Why weren't you watching her? Why couldn't you stop her? She wandered off. She just, she She's a baby! You have to watch them! We left you in charge. We trusted you. I know it was my fault. But why? Lorraine. I, I just want to know why. Lorraine, stop it. But if I just understood why. Then what? None of this uh, would, 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 would have happened? Why? We'd all be okay? Come on, now, for six years you've been blaming everybody. Me for not fixing the latch on the basement door, the boys for distracting Sarah right at that moment, Sarah for not being in two places at one time. We've all been hurting, Lorraine. All of us. We all lost Jennifer. And I don't think Sarah here has the answers to your whys. Bad things happen to good people all the time. Sometimes it's nobody's fault. I never meant to hurt the whole team. I know, I know you didn't. But they want their mother back. They miss her. So do I. Sarah? Sarah? Sarah, wait. I didn't know. I was just... I was 
saw her in town. I didn't mean... I didn't... Sarah, did... Do you think I was coming out here to yell at you? I know it's not your fault. It's my fault. Sarah. It's my fault. It's my fault. Sarah, listen to me. It was not your fault. You even fix that old dent. Yeah, it wasn't a big deal. I have a, I have the check, so. It's all right. Keep your money. Uh, no, I, uh, I can't. I mean, I, w I wouldn't feel right. I think you should, you should take it. It's because I tried to uh, force the karaoke on you, isn't it? <laughs> no, I don't think this is gonna work out, Evan. You don't think what's not going to work out? I'm seeing somebody back in Chicago, and I just don't want to mess it up, you know? Well, that's funny. Because when you first got into town, I thought you said you weren't seeing anybody. You take care, Sarah. Thanks. Hey, Dad, is it okay if Lizzie comes to dinner with us after graduation? Lizzie? Whatever happened to Kristen? Very funny, Dad. You know it's been Lizzie since Christmas. Night, Mom. Good night. Eighty-nine cents. Sorry? Eighty-nine cents. That's what the screws cost to fix the latch on the basement door. I bought the wrong screws. You couldn't fix the latch. What you said the other night was right. I'm sorry. You do know I love you, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. Derek Baxter. Can I just meet you guys at Giovanni's? Oh, there I was hoping you would drive me. 
Yeah, I mean, how are you going to learn if you don't drive, right? Let's go. All right. Bye, Dad. Bye. a special brunch for John's graduation at Giovanni's. I saw you when we were driving up. I don't want to drive you away. Oh, no, no, no. I, I actually have to get home anyways. I wanted to talk to you about the other day. Well, I think, uh, I think what you said actually made sense. Um, and I don't want to make you feel bad, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have my brother come over maybe when the, when the box is done. Barbecue again? That uh, beats me. Mom's uh, getting a bunch of her clients over. I think Dad's just looking for an excuse to burn a bunch of meat to a crisp. <laughs> oh, I'm giddy with anticipation. So, I hear you have a steady boyfriend. Oh. So you've been talking to Evan. <laughs> I knew it. There's no guy in Chicago. You're just messing with Evan's head again. You know what? Evan and I dated in high school. I'm going back to Chicago, and he's going back to Dallas. It would never work. Ever the optimist. Opti... Just shut up. Talk to me about this first. Well, that would have ruined the surprise, wouldn't it? Uh, come on, Sarah, relax. Have a good time. <laughs> oh, Lisa, how hey. are you? Did you and Evan have a fight? I practically oh. had to drag him here. Shh. Just... Hi, sir. Hey. Uh, your mom insisted. I did. Glad you're here. <laughs> um, actually, I gotta head back to the station. Now. No. You just got here. Come on. Yeah, I know there's a lot of boaters <laughs> heading up to the lake for the long weekend. Oh. Danny says you're going back to Dallas next week. You're going home? Yeah, well, um, my boss has been really patient, but, you know, there's only so much you can do via email and telecom. So, um, well, congratulations again. It's good seeing you. Take care. Love to your dad. All right, could I, ha could I have everyone's attention just for a minute, please? First of all, thanks to everyone for coming by and helping us celebrate. Thank you very much. Um, since Sarah's mother and I believe that nothing but the best will do for her, we're sending her to Northwestern. Now, there will be sacrifices. We'll be moving into our son Daniel's dorm room and selling the house. So if anybody wants to make a bid today, just uh, talk to Gail. Okay, we... Uh, we can't hide the fact that we are incredibly proud of our daughter. So, to Sarah. 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 We're sending Northwestern our first and our best. Hey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're sick, aren't you? What is it? Hodgkins? I'm fine, okay? Just leave me alone. Sarah, don't lie to me. Leukemia. I 
You haven't told anyone, have you? How could you possibly want to go through this alone? No, I really don't want to go into this right now. You have to tell your parents. I'm going in. If you don't tell your mother, I will. You have no right to do that. But I will. Fine, I'll tell her right now. Or something. Or property value. Values will go up. Sarah? What are you doing? I just, um, I have to go home. You're going home now? Yeah. Can you not wait? Just wait for a minute? Just to stop, stop it! Stop, stop, stop me! Dad? Excuse me. Lorraine? Hello, Phil. Howard came by a couple days ago. He already talked to Sarah. Sarah! Sarah! Where are you going? There's a house full of people. I told you I would take care of it. Take care of what? Friend, what are you doing here? Please, please, there's no way to express how sorry we are for what happened. But please, Lorraine, this is Sarah's day. I'm sorry. I just can't stand by and watch you go through what I did. What is she talking about? What, what is going on here? Just listen to your daughter. Sarah? Sarah? I'm sick. What were you waiting for? You were so excited about Northwestern. I just, I couldn't. Well, um, I just got off the phone with Dr. Gordon. Seems a very nice, nice, nice man. Yeah. And he said, you have a great chance of beating this thing, sweetheart. But we have to get to Chicago and start treatment so as soon as possible. Get us on an early train. I need to go outside and get some air. OK, sweetie, but don't go too far. Don't go too far, because we, I need to still call the oncologist Mom, please, and set up all the stop. appointments. Sarah, what's your problem? Dan, please, it's all right. Look. No, no, we want you to get better. Isn't that what you want? Well, we do. Come on now. You're the one who came home, Sarah. You're the one who came home. And maybe you didn't know why at the time, but I think you wanted our help. They deserve them. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, sweetheart, how have we gotten here? I thought things were getting better. They weren't. Sweetheart, this is my fault. I, I didn't want to see how badly you've been hurting. It's not your fault. Don't feel guilty, okay? It's not your fault. I ignored it, and I'm sorry. So sorry. And tomorrow we're going to Chicago, all of us. Yes. Okay, we'll see, all right? We'll see. Sarah, Sarah, you deserve to be well. Are you okay? Jennifer would have been seven last week. I keep trying to picture what she would look like now. When you look at someone's baby picture, it's so easy to see the person they became. But if you don't have the older point of reference, try to see myself at seven, tall, skinny, missing teeth. <laughs> In summer, mom couldn't get shoes on me, except on Sundays. And I imagine her growing up, high school, college, her wedding. 
wedding. Please, don't. Oh no. No, it's okay. It's not so sad anymore. I've been picturing her as you. How you were that night. So young. And trying to be so grown up. You're not to blame, Sarah. You never were. It's a gift. I want you to have it. I know it's none of my business, but I hope you'll find a way to forgive yourself. Thank you. I should probably tell you something. Let me guess. There's no guy in Chicago. No, there's no guy in Chicago. Yeah. But you're still going to Northwestern, and I'll be over in Dallas, so. Well, actually, I'm not going to, uh, to Northwestern, not anytime soon. I have leukemia. Just a minute. Hi. Hi. You okay? Sure. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I was just remembering that uh, radio message they used to play. It's 8 p.m. Do you know where your children are? <laughs> Sarah's gone. She left on her own. I don't know. <sighs> She'll be back. I'm very sorry about today, Lorraine. Very sorry. It's okay. I just don't understand how she could not want to be better. I didn't want to for a long time. I pushed my own family away. But I was so glad they were still there when I came to my senses. I wonder if she's gone. I wonder if she's gone for good. This is our home. She 
you'll always come back. <laughs> <laughs>